Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everybody. It is Saturday, January 27th, and you know what that means. It is time for the High Risk Wrestling Podcast. I am your host, the number 30 entrant. Maybe I should be number 27, Jeremy Pierce. Welcome, 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 one and all. You know you can check me out on the socials, Charismatic Creations on Facebook and YouTube, Charismatic underscore Creations. 52 on Instagram and of course the 215 on Twitter, Coffee, Patreon, Wix site is going live next week. But today's show right now, y'all, we've got the Royal Rumble 2024 preview. We're going to make the predictions. Who's going to win? How's it going to shake out? But for now, you know what's next. So just go on and hit my music. All right, so our episode list, we are going to be ranking the five best world title matches of the past five Royal Rumbles. Now, we have to get a title match just because, you know, it's the world championship. And you're going to see a name on this list a few times, but we're going to start with number five at the Royal Rumble 2022 Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins for the WWE Universal Championship. Roman Reigns was just starting his... Uh, reign as the Universal Champion um, coming off winning the belt early, early late last year and he was just being you know dominant but here is actually no 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 no, no. the reign had already continued um, and he really wasn't ever truly challenged until he came across Seth Rollins remember while Roman Reigns was champion Seth Rollins was still on Smackdown at this point and Seth got the title shot, and it was beautiful. This is one of the few times you thought Roman Reigns could lose. And who will forget about Seth coming out to the Shield music and Shield regalia and the look on Roman Reigns' face? This was good. This was good. Roman was truly terrified. He was in his own head, and Seth had Roman's number. And how do you know that? Know that Seth had Roman's n- number? Roman caused a DQ so he could retain the championship because he was that scared of Seth. Seth was Seth was going to win this match. This was a really really good match. Roy Rumble twenty. 20- 19 Oscar versus Becky Lynch for the SmackDown Women's Championship. This was the same year that Becky Lynch won the Royal Rumble. Oscar was finally getting her just due. Oscar was finally put it on great, great work. And her and Becky put on a really, really good match. This was the start of kind of the downfall of the man to become the man again because Oscar was a puzzle, was a problem that Becky could not solve and Oscar got the W Oscar got the W here and then Becky later in that evening took I believe Lana's spot in the Royal Rumble number three Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship from Royal Rumble 2023 this was the second time the Roman Reigns was defending the Royal Championship versus Kevin Owens and this had all the backdrop of the um, bloodline Sammy was the honorary oos and Kevin was, you know, fight Owens fight. He was never going to die. He was never going to give up. And we know ultimately Roman won, but it was the aftermath of this match that built everything up because Sammy had to sit there and watch his best friend be absolutely destroyed. And Kevin would not give up in any way, shape or form. And it, it's been too long since Kevin Owens wasn't world champion. That's something that needs to be fixed. Number two, The Fiend versus Daniel Bryan for the WWE Universal Championship Royal Rumble 2020. The Fiend was on a roll. The Fiend was on a roll. Him and uh, Daniel Bryan were just magic together and this was a strap match and we don't do strap matches very often in the day to be we do them in AEW we do them in other companies but 
this was a special stipulation and it was it was mainly so the fiend couldn't get away but the fiend figured out how to use that strap to his advantage and him and daniel bryan put on a really really brutal match for the wwe's standards and number one Royal Rumble 2021, Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens in a last man standing match for the WWE Universal Championship. Yep, Roman Reigns is here again with respect. Now, this match I liked better than the second match with Kevin Owens because everything was there for Kevin Owens to win. And it looked like Kevin Owens was going to win. They did a really good job during that 2021-2022 time of having challengers for Roman Reigns and making them look like they go in. There was him and there was Edge, there was Dane Bryan, it was Claudio. Um, but Kevin Owens, again, was never say die. And minus that one mishap with the ref not being able to get the handcuffs off and just absolutely stopping the count, Kevin Owens looked amazing here. And it shows you how much the fans love him, why the fans love him thunderdome era wrestling was pretty good um and this was just this was just a really really good match and i want to see kevin owens in more championship matches but that is the episode listen we'll be right back with our superstar spot. <laughs> The spotlight today shines on one Drew McIntyre. And ever since Drew has, um, let's say, found himself, he has been on a roll speaking nothing but the truth, speaking nothing but facts. And people are just telling him to get over it. They are now downplaying his role as champion during the pandemic. That was a tough time for, for, for professional wrestling. Yeah, Drew McIntyre helped carry the company. Why is Drew McIntyre in the wrong? Better yet, what has he done wrong? He's going face to face with Cody, with Punk, with Damian Priest, with the Judgment Day, with Jay Uso, and he has held his own. And yet he is the one in the wrong. Drew McIntyre is at a crossroads. And we know that he hasn't signed a new contract. Which makes this this path even tighter. Where does Drew go? What does he do? How will he fare tonight in the Royal Rumble? It's only one way to find out. This is going to be very, very interesting what goes down tonight. We'll dive into a little more, but Drew McIntyre, I stand with Drew McIntyre. What has he done wrong? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the road to WrestleMania. And tonight it starts with the Royal Rumble. We are going to dive into the show, get into the match card, get into the predictions. But first things first, let's take a look at last year's um, WrestleMania, right? Sorry, not WrestleMania, Royal Rumble. How 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 was that show? So on last year's card, we had. Uh, We had five matches. First, we had the Men's Royal Rumble with Cody Rhodes winning the Men's Royal Rumble, lastly eliminating Gunther. We had Bray Wyatt defeat LA Knight in the Pitch Black match that was sponsored by Mountain Dew. The less talked about that, the better. Bianca Belair defeated Alexa Bliss, retaining the Raw Women's Championship. Rhea Ripley won the uh, Women's Royal Rumble, lastly eliminating Liv Morgan and Roman Reigns defeated Kevin Owens retaining the undisputed Universal Championship our Iron Men for the matches were for the men's for the men's match it was Gunther who came in at number one and lasted one hour 11 minutes and 40 seconds that was the entirety of the match and on the women's side of things uh, Rhea Ripley started at number one 
and lasted one hour, one minute, and eight seconds. That was the entirety of the women's match. And mind you, Liv Morgan was number two, and she was the last eliminated. She lasted one second less. So that was that was really good. I like what they did. Um, I really like what they did last year with the women's way run, but that was really really decent. That was real like that was that was dope. That was really really dope. Uh, Rhea and Liv got time to shine. But let's get into this year's events. We have four matches this year. And first up, we have Logan Paul defending the United States Championship against Kevin Owens. Um, I feel really weird about this match for, for a few reasons. One, I don't like Logan Paul, but I recognize just how good he, he kind of is. Love KO. And if there ever was a chance to get the championship off of a part-timer, this would be it. But Logan Paul has had the last laugh. And that usually doesn't fare well for whomever. KO is very, very believable that he 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 could win. I I I, I could kind of put money on it. But I think that I think that Logan Paul is holding the championship up until WrestleMania, um, where he'll lose it there. So I'm going to take Kevin Owens to lose, Logan Paul to retain the United States Championship. But this will be a good match. This might end up being the best match on the card, even over the other two. Uh, over the other two rumbles in the world title match but take logan paul to retain next up we have roman reigns defending the undisputed WWE be universal championship versus la knight aj styles and randy or in a fatal for a match um if there was ever a match for roman reigns to lose the championship this would be it uh he doesn't have an answer he doesn't have an answer for LA Knight. He doesn't have an answer for AJ Styles. He damn sure doesn't have an answer for Randy Orton. And Randy Orton has been the one guy that they've pushed consistently to make you think that he could win. Um, there will be a lot of moving parts. And because this match is no disqualification, anything can happen. Um, I'll be completely honest with you. I love AJ Styles. He has no shot at winning this championship tonight. Love Ellie Knight, he has no shot at winning the championship tonight. I expect to see them in the Roy Rumble matches. Um, and that's another thing, match order. <sighs> Where does this match fit on the card? Because if it's not, if it's not the first or second match, then that would puts some of the other men in the Royal Rumble. You know what I mean? So we've we've got to figure that out. It's going to be a good match. Okay? It's going to be a good match. Uh I just I just don't think Roman's losing here. I'm so I'm gonna take Roman Reigns to retain all of some kind of weird shenanigans that are tr to be expected. And possibly continue a feud with Randy Orton. Next up, we have the men's Royal Rumble match. <sighs> this this one is much tougher to predict than the women's match. So so far announced for the men's matches Cody CM Punk Shinsuke Lashley uh, Drew McIntyre Gunther Chad Gable Otis Akira Tozawa Kofi Kingston Damian Priest Santos Escobar R-Truth Carlito Grayson Waller Austin Theory and Jimmy Uso that is 17 of 30 interest and, and, and there will be NXT people in here as well just like the, in, in the women's match so what we need to focus on are the people that definitely have a shot at winning this Cody Rhodes CM Punk Bobby Lashley 
Drew McIntyre, Gunther, I don't think there's anybody else. No. That's it. So Cody Punk, Lashley, Drew, Gunther. And actually, you know what? I'll throw Damian Priest in it because he's Mr. Money in the Bank. This is a toss-up. So I originally, right, I originally would have picked Cody to go back-to-back to win, right? And that was very obvious. But the wrinkle thrown in here was the return of CM Punk. The second wrinkle was Seth Rollins' injury. So now, who's the winner? So let's 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 break it down. Let's break it down. We got Damian Priest, Mr. Money in the Bank. It would be really funny for him to win the Rumble, have a guaranteed main event shot, and have the Money in the Bank briefcase. That would be good. That'd be really, really, really good. But I don't think it's gonna happen. You got the briefcase is gonna guarantee you a shot, right? Gunther between Cody Punk Lashley Drew and Gunther Gunther is the wild card Gunther is tough because could there be a shot of Brock Lesnar getting involved see remember we all we can always use the Roy Rumbles to start up few that's the beauty of Battle Royals. Gunther's the wild card. Because he's the Intercontinental Champion. Title's not defend, being defended on the show. Even though I wish there was another title match. Maybe women's tag team titles. Or even the tag team titles. But. Um, Gunther challenging Roman. That's a that's a dream match. But I think they're going to keep those two separate for a while. So I'm going to. Even though Gunther's a wild card. I'm going to throw Gunther out to the wayside. For now. So that leaves that leaves Rhodes, Punk, Lashley, Drew. Lashley's in the middle of a feud with the final testament, so we're gonna cross off Bobby Lashley. So we got Drew, Punk, Cody. These are the three men that have the best opportunity to win the Royal Rumble. Cause whoever wins this is gonna make history, right? Because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, can The Rock show up? Can the new executive of TKO show up? Because if Cody wins, he's challenging Roman. That's done. But if Punk and Drew win, they're challenging Seth. Mind you, I'm assuming they're going to keep the championship with WrestleMania because I hate that WWE just says, you know, there's another pay-per-view in here, but the championships won't change hands. So, I'm going to boil it down to this. Seth's injury is a major hiccup. And I think we wouldn't be in a situation if you had just let Shinsuke win the championship and Seth could have won it back at the Royal Rumble. That would just made, it would have made so much sense to do that, but I digress. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Cody Rhodes wins the Men's Royal Rumble. Finish this damn story. Finish the story. Finish the story. Finish the story. Okay, Cody? This is what you came back for. This is what we want from you to finish the story. We can we can get um, we can get to Punk versus Seth or Drew versus Seth. We can do all of that later, but we are going, going to get Cody Rhodes to finish his story. And we move over to the women's. Royal Rumble match. 
announced for the women's match so far Bailey, Nia Jax, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Maxine Dupree, Ivy Now, Alba Fire, Shotzi Blackheart, Zelina Vega, and Mi Chen. Now, once again, let's boil it down to who has the best shot at winning. Won't be anybody from NXT. It comes down to Bailey, Nia, Becky, Bianca. Those are your four. I don't think Alexa Bliss, if she does return, is winning it. And you know I'm not the biggest fan of Alexa Bliss. Um, Liv Morgan's out with her injury. Trinity, no. Mercedes Monet, I don't think she's coming back to the WWE. So, Bailey, Nia, Becky, and Bianca. Those are your four women, all former women's champions with two Grand Slam champions. Now, this one also gets interesting because we have EO, who's the SmackDown Women's Champion, right? The WWE Women's Champion. And then we have Rhea, who's the uh, Women's World Champion. And they have built in feuds, right? So on the EO Sky side, we have on the two SmackDown women that I think have the biggest shot at winning, Bailey and Bianca. Now, Bailey says if she wins the Rumble, she's just going to go for Rhea. So damage control can hold all the gold. I don't think that's happening. We've seen the gaslighting on the side of damage control with Bailey. And Bianca's in the middle of a feud with damage control. But see, here's my thing. I don't need Bianca in another title match on WrestleMania. I need my girl Bailey to get her moment. Right. And on the raw side of things, there's only two women that have a shot. Nia and Becky. That is it. I am sorry to say this. I am sorry, Shayna. I am sorry, Ivy Now. Nia and Becky are the only two women that have a shot at winning the Royal Rumble on the, or the Raw on the side. And we are going to get Becky versus Rhea. We are going to get Nia versus Rhea. So, with, with that being said, we need to get to the money match of Becky versus Rhea. And we've seen what happened when Becky is down on her luck and she pushes hard and she fights hard. I'm going to go with Becky Lynch to win the Women's Royal Rumble, making her a two-time Royal Rumble winner because I think we're going to do Nia versus Rhea at the Elimination Chamber. And then we can get Becky versus Rhea one of the money matches. There aren't there aren't many money matches left in the women's division. We've got Nia Rhea, Becky Rhea, um, Rhea, Bianca, Becky Charlotte. Those are like your last true money matches with the women. And we have to get Becky versus Rhea some way, somehow, some, in some way, shape, or form. So I'm going to go with Becky Lynch to win the Women's Royal Rumble. Just to recap, I have Logan Paul retaining over Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns retaining over LA Knight, AJ Styles, and Randy Orton, Cody Rose to win the Men's Royal Rumble match, and Becky Lynch to win the Women's Royal Rumble match. That's our show. Thank you. Thank you all for listening. Thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow for what? just happened the recap of the royal rumble uh, as for next week's schedule stay tuned i gotta get that into the works don't forget to check out the socials charismatic creations on facebook and youtube charismatic underscore creations 52 on instagram the 215 on twitter of course wix site coming next week coffee patreon and as always chris statlander anna J, gg dolan willow nightingale isla dawn and bailey holla at your boy peace